our first speaker will talk about a really interesting country and a really interesting market. And I think this is going to be great because I can actually tell you that I don't know that much about this great country. It's about uh, India. And I would like to uh, present Jenny Kato, Director of Trade Promotion Policy from Teknikföretagen. Varsågod. Thank you so much. So my name is Jenny Kato. I work at Teknik for Tagen, which is the association of Swedish engineering uh, industries. Uh, we are an employer and industry organization with 3,904 companies as members as of today. And uh, they say that uh, picture says more than, than words. And I will actually today start off with showing you uh, movies, uh, two movies instead, actually. The first one on who we are, Teknik for Tagen. And the second one on why we think that India is such an uh, exciting market and country. So let's see if, the, if it works. It's a <laughs> Technology. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's just the wrong. Oh, it's uh, no, not that one. The first one. Hold it that upside one. down. Okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, In our globalized world, export companies are more important than ever. With inventions and innovations such as the ball bearing, the pacemaker, and Bluetooth, Sweden's engineering companies have put the country on the map. The foundation of the Swedish spirit of innovation is our company's strong tradition of creativity, new ideas and belief in individual ability. It's through these engineering companies that individuals' dreams and ideas have come to life, bringing progress around the world and making companies successful. But our engineering companies are about much more than just inventions and ideas. The success of their exports is the basis of our welfare state. Companies that every day succeed in the face of fierce competition allow us to afford world-class schools, health and social care. We at the employers' organization Teknik för Tagen are proud to represent Sweden's engineering companies. That's what our companies and our welfare state deserve. So now you know who we are, and then why are we interested in India? I actually borrowed this movie from the World Economic Forum. I think it says a lot. So, last summer, um, as you might know, the Indian uh, government launched its 100 Smart Cities mission, which is the ambition of India to actually create 100 new smart cities. And the program is coordinated by Confederation of Indian Industries, which is our sister organization. And they are now reaching out to a number of uh, interested countries that have expertise in the area of sustainable urban development and smart cities. So I was in Delhi a month ago, together with our Minister of, of uh, Energy, Ibrahim Bailan, and signed an agreement on cooperation with CAI to uh, together work on this uh, very important challenge on solving the uh, Indian challenge on, on urban development and smart cities. And therefore we are now creating a platform to 
or a hub, if you may, to kind of get the Swedish smart cities community together. We have our member companies. We're also involved in a lot of other networks. Uh, I'm actually sharing uh, the chairman of Team Sweden Cleantech Smart Cities, which is uh, part of the Swedish uh, export strategy. To form this platform, Swedish platform, and reach out to the Indian opportunities and projects. And uh, we, there are three levels in this project at the moment. There is the uh, policy level. There is uh, a governmental bilateral agreement between Sweden and India on sustainable urban development from last year. We have a support level, which is the uh, agreement that we have with CII and India. And we're now moving into the project level uh, where we are mapping out uh, feasibility studies and projects within this, this, uh, this uh, project that we have. And it's still early days. Uh, we had the, the first signing of the MOU in October, but still the project is moving on quite fast. So we're hoping to go, go into the project phase next year. And in that, I hope to see many of you engage in this together with us uh, in the coming year. Thank you so much.